Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm building a coffee table for a friend and his wife out of this rosewood slab that they purchased. So this rosewood is really nice with the really rich heartwood and the light sapwood on the edge. So in flattening, we wanted to remove that divot there just to make a nice smooth tabletop. So circular saw and router sled and time to get to work. So all in all, I had to remove about three quarters of an inch of material to get it all down flat. But once I did, oh man, looks pretty nice. So I took off a little bit on the bottom as well, just to kind of bring out a little bit of the grain, kind of freshen it up a little bit. So I think overall it was about an inch thinner than it started out. Uh, I was aiming for about inch and a half inch thick tabletop in the end. Next, went ahead and cut off this little branch piece. Didn't really want this in the final table, just kind of wanted to have the live edge appearance. So I cut this off and then kind of shaped it to match what the uh, edge was already doing. So I took my grinder with a sanding wheel and just shaped this just so it went with the natural curve that was already in the edge. And uh, you know, in the long run, I don't think you can even tell that it was ever there. So it really worked out well. So now I can turn my attention to the rest of the live edge and just gave it a little bit of a grinding here to remove any of the dirt or loose debris from uh, while it was outside drying. So now begins the process of sanding it down. So I started with my belt sander just to remove some of the heavier tool marks left by the router when flattening. And then turned over to my random orbital just to try to smooth it out to a nice even uniform finish. So while sanding, I decided to address this little knot that uh, went all the way through to the other side. So I chose to fill it with a black epoxy. So here I'm taping the underside and then I'll pour the epoxy in on the top and then sand everything flush. So it'll be a nice smooth finish and uh, no imperfections. And after sanding it down, it was like it was never there. Now it was time to cut the slab down to final length. I think we ended up with about a 42 inch tabletop. So I just built a little fence, used my circular, circular saw and chopped it down. I used my router to put about a quarter inch round over on the two ends. Kind of wanted to keep them, you know, mostly a hard corner, but just soften it up a little bit. I think it really turned out nice. And then back to sanding. So I'm marking it here just with a pencil so I can tell where I've sanded so I don't sand one area too much. Uh, and I started with, you know, started with 80 grit, built up to I think about 180 grit, all right, just to make a really smooth finish. And man, look at that grain, beautiful wood. And this is always fun, adding my mark. Lock style, oh yeah, looking good. 
So I chose to go with a spar urethane as a finish. Uh, produced like a nice uh, durable finish for um, you know everyday use. And man, it's always so awesome to see the uh, the grain come to life as you apply that finish. This rosewood is gorgeous. So my friend and his wife decided on a set of hairpin legs. So I pre-drilled those, screwed them in with the uh, screws that came with the legs, and we were done. So I'm really excited about how this table came out. David and his wife were very pleased. They liked it a lot. And uh, next up, we're going to make some side tables for a little matching um, living room set. Alrighty guys, this was Lock's Life. Thanks for watching.